welcome back to the session and uh, in this session we are going to you know work out some of the programs on list so let's start with that okay the first program which we are going to see is to find the largest number in a list so for that uh, what we'll do is we'll take a number and we'll store it in a variable and uh, then i mean the number of elements then one by one we will add it uh, in the list then sort it in an ascending order and print the last element in the list so that's how we are going to do Let's start with that. What is the first step? Okay, first uh, let me take a file. Let me use the old file. Uh, the sample. Okay. So I'm taking a empty list, and I'm using the variable input. Enter the number of elements. Enter the number of elements and uh, for I, I in range. So, what is the range? Range definitely it should be. Like it starts from one and n plus one because it may not take that n element if i give n we'll take n minus one to avoid that then i have to append those elements okay uh, i need to you know accept the num uh, those values right input enter the element element so then that has to be appended to the list appended to the list then sort it print The largest element. How the largest element that is n minus one. Okay, well, okay, the same mistake on my end. <clears throat> okay, what happened? Sorry. I will not convert it in terms of integer. Yeah. Let me convert. It's better to convert it into integer before storing it in the variable. Well, the largest element is 123. So let me give one more uh, set of uh, in output. <clears throat> in this, let me take a uh, negative number seven. Yeah, ninety. So these are the two set of uh, uh, output we have seen for finding the largest number. So what I'll do is now let's find the second largest. So who will find the second largest? Just it is n minus two. Nothing much. So, so the second largest. So the second largest is 34. Yeah, 18 is the first largest and 34 is the second largest. That also we have seen the first largest as well as the second largest number. 
Oke. Okay. So the next program is Python program where what we'll do is here we will merge two list and we'll sort it. For that, what is the requirement? Take the you know the number of elements and store it in a variable and uh, uh, accept the elements from the user with the help of for loop and take the second list also the elements in a similar way as what we have taken for the first element. Then. Uh, Merge it with the plus operator that is concatenation operator, then display it. Display elements in the sorted order. So let me take one more. So this is for A, and I'll do the same thing for. I'll take it as M. So that is M plus one and the uh, iterator. Let me take it uh, J. This A B. Let me take it as B. So this let it be C and uh, this let it be D and this let it be C. Speed up sort. <clears throat> so what we'll do is first before sorting, uh, let me take a new variable and what is my thing is I need to add these two concatenate, right? So then let me sort that and print that here. That's it. It's okay. Elements are sort. Enter the number of elements. So first list. Second list. Hope oh, everything is fine. Let's check it out. Okay. Okay. I'll take like this. Okay. Yeah. See? One, two, three. So total elements four plus five, nine, three, six, nine. Yeah. And it is sorted and it is provided finally it's sorted in the order so what we have done is we have taken two empty list here and we have accepted the number of elements for the first list according to that you know one by one the element we have accepted from the user and we have appended to the list a in the similar way we have done it for the second list after that we have added those two you know we have merged it with the help of concatenation operator then we have sorted and we have printed that how we can merge to list and display data order
let's see one more program and the program is to swap the first and last value of the list so how do we do it as usual take a number of elements then store it in a variable and accept the values into the list using for loop and append it to the list using a temporary variable switch the first and last elements in the list print the newly formed list so no accepting this this is common and i need here only one list so i don't require one more list here rather uh, i need uh, a temporary variable let me take temp is equal to e of okay that's an empty list uh, that's an empty <coughs> sorry then what i'm doing is i'm that you know that the first element in the list i'm assigning to temporary variable and what i'm here doing is the last variable i'm taking and i'm assigning it to the first place first position now whatever i have in n minus one so whatever the very value i had in the temp that i'm assigning it to the last position so now I don't require this so just print a that's it that's it cool so you can find here the first element i'm giving is 11 22 33 44 55 so the last element is 55 the first element is 11 so it has to be replace the first element with the last and last element with the first and the logic is very simple here that is i'm taking a temporary variable for the temporary variable i'm assigning the first first element which is present in the index a of zero that i'm assigning it into the temporary variable then uh, i'm that whatever uh, the first uh, position is there I didn't lose it because I have assigned it to the temporary variable. Then what I'm doing is the last element I'm assigning it to the first position. Then whatever is in the last position that I'm assigning it into temp. So fine. So in that way, the elements are getting printed. That is first as a last, last as a first. Okay, hope the program was clear. Next is to remove the duplicate item from the list. So how, how we are going to do as usual, take the number of elements and uh, enter it and append it to the list. Then use a for loop to traverse through the elements of the list. Then use an if statement to check if the element is already there in the list. If it is not there, append it to the another list. So print the non-duplicate terms in the list. That's it. So how are we going to do it? Let's check it out. things are common okay appending everything so let me use this for the providing a logic for it so what I'm doing is first let me sort that 
uh, sorry uh, i'm using the set i'm changing i'm using a new set set here that duplicate uh, one and i need a unique variable i mean the list which is you know uh, the duplicate one i mean the final one which i'm gonna print it then now uh, for x in a for x in a if x not in we have seen this already in operator right it is not present yeah it, it returns true so what it should do unique unique dot append x yeah then p dot add x then print this print what non duplicate elements are okay non duplicate elements are so that is unique which which is present in unique okay let me enter the file Hmm. So three to one. So now the non-duplicate elements are three to one. So let's see what the yeah, three. You can see the the different uh, kind of input. That is three to three. Yeah. So this is. Uh, one more program we have seen and uh, So the next program is will I to, is to create a list of tuples with the first element as the number and the second element as a square of the number. So here, as usual, the first few statements are as usual. Now the list of tuple must be created using the list comprehension where the first element is a number the range and the second element is the square of the number so nothing it's simple whatever the number we are entering what it what it will do is when it is appending itself it will make the square of that first number and it stores in the list so that I need an upper and a lower range. So here I'll just provide an upper and a lower range. That's it. So that let it take the number, its own number, and uh, make a square it and uh, store it there itself range is equal to print input enter the lower range so lower range as well as the upper range So let me name it as U and uh, 
occurrence yes so i need uh you know list so list i'm inside the list what it should contain x comma x square right then for x in range so what is that range lower range as well as upper range comma upper range so print a that's it oh. okay three and uh, nine that's three nine four sixteen five twenty five six thirty six seven forty nine eight sixty four so what we can do is i have given the range and i have uh, no, uh, within that range uh, the first element is that it starts with the range and the second element is a square of it it takes in a range what you can do is you can take an element and you can make a square of it and store it directly in the list so you can try that program as well Let's see the next program. That is a program to put even and odd elements in a list into two different lists. Into different lists. What I'll do is I need this. So I'm using the same code here. So basically. Uh, we'll use a loop to traverse through the elements of the list and with the help of if statement we'll check So we need a element uh, which where we are uh, traversing through. Then uh, the element is even appended to a separate list. If it is odd, append it to the different one. So this is common. So I need a two list here that is even odd. Because it is even, I have to put it into that list. If it is odd, I have to put it into our list. For J in A, let me take the elements in the list A. So what I have to check, I have, I have to check whether it is even or odd. Right. So how to check? So we have a simple law. Now calculation for it that is j percentage 2 if it is equal to 0 it is even so what i have to do i have to put it in a even even dot append what i have to append the value which is present in j right
heads. Okay, I forgot in the cone here. Else, what? Hot dot, a pen. J. Right. Yeah. So now what I have to print? I have to print even. Then elements are then odd elements. Yeah, enter the list. Let me do the values. Let me check. Even elements are four two zero six four, and the uh, odd elements are one. So hope that uh, is interesting. So in this session, we have seen several programs like you know, uh, this is one of the program where uh, accepting uh, list values and uh, separating even and odd, storing it in a different list and displaying it. And the previous program was uh, the uh, first element in the list, and the second element is the square of the first element. We have taken the range and we have done it. And uh, we have done uh, a program with uh, Uh, you know to swap the first and last number so that is one of the program we had done and uh, to find the first largest number and to find the second largest number and uh, merging two list and sorting and displaying it that we had done and uh, And if at all, if any duplicate was present in the list, uh, eliminating uh, such element, uh, what we have done is we have, uh, with the help of for list, we have iterated through each element in the list and uh, we have found the unique value and we have stored it in a different list and we have displayed that. So that was one of the programs. So we have practiced many programs on list. In the upcoming sessions will be practicing some more programs even on the dictionary tuples and even the set as well if possible time permits we'll see the list even so that's all for the video